Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Tuesday, November 30th, last day of the month. The year is 2021. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap, or <laughs> weekly, the monthly wrap up. As always, these videos are for educational purposes. Only your results may differ from mine. So, end of the month. Just a friendly reminder, always have your risk management in place. Never lose any more on one trade than you're willing to lose on any one trade. So, let me just shift the time frame here to monthly since we're talking about the monthly. <laughs> but all the, all the gaps filled on the week. Um, you can see here, we are 90 pips below the uh, weekly open mm, that didn't change to uh monthly let me go in here and make a quick little edit and put it to current so 439 pips below the monthly open, 454 below the monthly high, and 50 off of the monthly low that was put in today. You can see on the daily chart, we broke out of yesterday's low, screamed out of it. We also broke out of yesterday's high just barely. So... This is an outside bar. And for the year, we're 339 pips below the yearly open, 49 off the yearly low. And we've already read off the month's stats. Oh, lots of inside bar action across the board there on the daily, with the exception of the pound. We had uh, the uh, Fed chairman and the U.S. Uh, Treasury uh, Secretary talk today. Obviously, their words had something to do with all this movement. It's interesting, the pound's down, but the yen is also down. Um We've got dollar Canadian up. We've got a few others up above the open, but it just seems like everything got pushed down on that news. Just about everything. Or I don't know if it was really news or just an announcement. Uh, the buy zone was very interesting. Price screamed across the weekly open, then across the daily open, then across the short zone. Green rats, I uh, imagine you feasted. Red rats, I do believe there was enough. Uh, let's see, was there enough room here for red? Yes, there was enough pips there for the red rats to be looking to go short. So hopefully if you shorted somewhere at 50 above, you got to ride it for about 150 pips. or more. We hit S3 and bounced on the daily for the pivot. Got close to the weekly S2. So it looks like we're gonna have some missed pivots this month, three of them to be exact. Oh, I meant to take a look at the weekly. We've taken out the weekly pivot and the monthly we took out a long time ago. In and out of the wick zone. That was just a huge move.
And looking at the ranges for the month, high to low so far, 504 pips at the 75 percentile. A lot of that was put in the day. We didn't break out of the previous month's high, but 239 pips below the previous low. High minus close at the time, 452. Close minus low, 52. So rats were both fed, the red rats and the green rats. Buy zone traders, high minus open, only 16 pips, but that's still a decent trade. But short zone traders open the low on the month, 488 pips. You can see here that Walmart trade would have paid off huge. And the one this hour is not doing too bad either. Up about eight pips, nine pips at the moment. You can see in the last hour we had a 140 pip bar. This hour, 55 pip bar. Um, just huge moves. And this hour going short at the 30 would have paid off to about 30 pips. So once again, just simple price action, trading what you see at a horizontal line paid off huge. Uh, here on the higher low, lower high. Paid off once again, and looking at the different time frames, you can see here it's only three pips at the moment. We're ending this hour. H1, not even close yet. M15, 13 pips. Looking at M5, there was a couple of triggers there. Good for about 20 pips. Oh, I just noticed this needs to be changed. Or this needs to be updated. HLLH needs to be updated so we can put in decimals. And looking at some fib retraces i think if we go to the h1 you can see here 3282 would be the 50 3261 would be the what's that i forget 30 i forget what those fibs are i haven't used them in so long 38 so it's usually about 23 point something 38 point something 50 and then it says 61.8 i guess i could put those decimals in i wonder why i didn't i'll have to look those up but you could see there was definitely a push down uh one thing to note at this level you see price definitely retraced to the 50 came back up and then the rest was history and then here from this level to this level, you see price came up, came back down to 50% range, went up, came back down to the 50% range, went down, came up to the 50% range, and came up, made a new high. So trading um, off of this dynamic support resistance, uh, it takes time because we're looking at the hour chart. So a lot of traders don't like to stay in trades that long, but you can see here we've been pushing up, two pushes up, 32 pip range between the, the diamonds now, but what you want to see is if price will come back 
to about at least this level here, the 80 on a retrace. And I hope, fellow traders, none of you got caught on the wrong side of that trade. I got my fingers burnt on it somewhat, but that's trading. Anything can happen. But that's why we have stop losses in place. Uh, let's see. Let's go back um, to the monthly range here. And you can see this last monthly candle, previous candle, was an inside bar. Another reason to take the trade to the short side. So I read something yesterday, and I actually posted it out on Cresslick. Um, it was had to do with um, somebody explaining something to somebody else. And the person doing the explaining has the opportunity to make it easy for the other person to understand or make it difficult or obscure or obtuse to understand. So... If um if there's something uh that I haven't explained simply enough, please let me know so I can do a video on it and clear up some misunderstandings or misconceptions. Um but I know there's a lot of you know traders out there when well, they say, well, you have to learn price action, and they've never ever ever defined what price action is. Um and as Deming would say, you know, if you can't explain what you're doing as a process, then you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I try my best to uh, explain things as a process, give some, you know, one, two, three steps. Um, I write indicators that, you know, do the statistics so you know when something's in your favor. But every now and then, I guess, sometimes I fail. In fact, uh, you know, was it 10 years or so ago, um, there's that one guy on Cresslick who just couldn't understand something, and that's when I made idiot mode with the big skull, and he got all upset. But um, I you know pretty much I thought I explained it till I was, um, you know, out of different ways to say it. You know, he was like the only one getting it, and he was telling me what a bad teacher I was. But the thing is, you know, there is some work involved on the student's part, on the learner's part. You know, some people don't want to read. I mean, we see that in threads all the time where, you know, there's a 500 post thread or a thousand post thread. And they come in on the last page and go, hey, how does this thing work? Well, thing is, almost any question that they've asked um, had probably been answered. But the thing is, whoever, you know, is introducing a method, it's up to them to, to state it clearly, usually in post one, <laughs> you know, how it works, what the steps are. Because if they can't do that, then do they really know what they're doing? Um, and so you just have to, uh, you know, ask questions, you know, nail them down. And if they don't want to answer it, well, then probably you're exposing something. You're striking a nerve. So once again, if you've got any questions on any of the indicators or methods that I presented, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer. So fellow traders, looks like uh, November is going to wrap up here. And I hope you come back in December. So I hope November was good to you. You had a profitable month. And when you come back to your uh, trading platform, just remember, never forget. It's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One over and out.